and welcome back to Does It Go Hard, the show where I review movies, video games, and more. Today, I'm going to be talking about Smiling Friends Season 2. Now, before we touch upon the second season, I first want to get my thoughts on what I thought on the first season. Season 1 of Smiling Friends, to me, was absolutely incredible. I loved it. It was new. It was fresh. It was different from all the other adult animated shows that were coming out at that time. It was hilarious, it was clever, and it had very good animation. Not only 2D animation, but also exploring and incorporating other types of animation styles. So to say at least that I was excited for Season 2 is a bit of an understatement. I was really, really looking forward to this. But now that Season 2 has finally concluded, what did I think about the season overall? I mean, what do you want me to say? It was just as good, if not a bit better than Season 1. Now, I do have a few criticisms, but they are very small complaints that really don't affect much my overall enjoyment of the season. First thing that I want to comment is on the animation. This guy's been going nuts. He freaked out my kids. My wife is in hysterics. She doesn't know what the hell is going on. I had to take the day off work to bring him back. Pussy. The first season had very good animation, but you can see how the animation has improved since that first season. The 2D animation not only is smoother this time around, but they're also exploring even more with a lot of other different art styles. With claymation, CG animation, uh, there's a bit of rotoscoping, there's even live action incorporated into it. It's a lot of different art forms and mediums coming together into this one season. But if you give us a chance to help you, you'll see that teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't, don't, look, don't look at that. Don't look at that. We were just about to go to the Zeta Reticuli system to fuck around. You guys up for some Saturday night shenanigans? And of course, how can I forget the humor? The show style of humor is the kind of humor that I really, really enjoy. There's a lot of scenes where characters are talking, and it feels like real people talking, or having a discussion, or having a conversation. And it's awkward, it's uncomfortable, but that's what makes it funny. <laughs> yo. Uh, yo, what's up? What's up, man? Vanessa's over, we're trying to watch TV. You're being incredibly loud. It's how realistic it feels that makes it funny. Not only that, but also the other outlandish shit that they introduce in this show. Hey, Rotten! It's me, man! It's Bill Nye, the, uh, science guy, man! And I got a little song about life and death that I think might end your worries, man! One thing I found odd from season one is that it was a show that was very much focused a lot on Pim and Charlie. But here in the second season, they really give a lot of space to the other characters. Alan has his own episode. Gleb here is a little bit more side characters-ish, but at the same time, he still gets to do a lot of funny things. The Mr. Boss character gets a lot more to do this time around as well. It just went out of those little metal things that hold paper together. The F are they called again? You know, the thing that's all like... Paper clips? Yeah, that's it. If you could fetch some for me, I might have a special reward for you. All the different visual gags that they incorporate to these characters, but not only that, but to the backgrounds. Most of the comedy in the show is revolved around how chaotic this world is. There's also a bunch of cameos from people from the internet, people that I know that I've watched from YouTube or from social media. The folks from Red Letter Media voice a couple of characters in this season. Nostalgia Craig gets his own cameo. When I saw that shit, I was like, if nothing else, this episode makes this season entirely, infinitely better than the first season. <laughs> Another thing that I really like about this show, and this is also present in the first season, but it is how clever the writing is. Now, yes, there will be some really stupid gag here and there that is just a bunch of nonsense, but for the most part, the show is actually very smartly written, and it is cleverly written to where it's not just a bunch of fucking nonsense on the screen happening for 10 minutes. Each episode actually follows a coherent plot. Now, yes, the plot sometimes can be definitely very stupid or ridiculous, but even the fact that they can make the most ridiculous shit coherent is impressive in and of itself. <laughs> so I'm here gobbling this fucking show's nuts right now. What is the issues that I have? One of it is a bit of a small one. It's not something that is particularly bad. This is more of a pro-con situation battling each other. These episodes are very short. Like, I think they're each like 10 to 11-ish minutes long. And that's no problem with that. But because the show is so 
good. The fact that each episode ends so quickly is almost disappointing. It's like, man, I wanted to see more. <laughs> Which I guess is a good thing. If a show really keeps me wanting more, that's a good sign that the show is doing something right. The other complaint that I have is not necessarily towards the show, but it's related towards the show. A lot of the marketing around this season 2 revolved a lot around showing a lot of previews for the next episode and some of these previews were very long some of them were like two minutes long some of them were like a minute and 30 seconds long for a show with episodes that are like 10 minutes long that's like a good chunk of an episode so i was just very frustrating going into social media constantly and seeing new preview for the next episode of smiling friends and it's like an entire two minutes almost three minutes of an episode and it's like why are you doing this why are you showing so much of the next episode like you should leave this stuff to be a surprise for when the episode eventually comes out again it's not really much of a complaint towards the show but it is towards the show's marketing and adult swim and how they kind of been about how they want to promote the show so i can't really take away any points for that but overall i just absolutely love this show and it makes me so happy that we do have confirmation of a third season coming michael and zach have done an amazing job with this and they can stop it whenever they want but i would be equally happy if this show gets a hundred seasons three movies and fucking a bunch of spinoffs like i don't care as long as i keep getting my dose of smiley friends especially if it's up to this quality then I have nothing to complain about. And you want to know the craziest part about this is that I have not even scratched the surface of what this show has. This show has so many funny, clever, and creative moments in it that it was almost impossible for me to pick and choose which moments to show you guys. In my opinion, this might be one of the funniest shows out right now. So my final rating for Smiling Friends Season 2 will be a high goes wrong. I really enjoy this season and I cannot wait to see what they have in store for Season 3. But thank you so much for watching. What do you think of Smiling Friends Season 2? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Or are you just kind of in the middle? Let me know down in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think about it. And like always, good day, good night, and stay safe.